What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Old Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And today we've got some lot of things to do. Uh, first of all, I want to do a little bit, bo a little bit. I can't talk. A little bit more of blood magic. And for this, I had to make one of this. There's, there's a reason why I made this, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, it was easy. I just had to go kill another dragon, uh, and I just. Got some breath. I didn't have any, so I got like uh, 64, and I just had to use one to make this Ender Star. This Ender Star will be useful because we are going to make a this, the Advanced Ring of Regeneration. I don't think I made that one yet. Yeah, I made the ring, which is aluminum, brass, and white gold, which white gold is made uh, with gold, silver, copper, and mag magnes. And you get this, and then you can take this one and change it into an advanced ring, which gives you regeneration too. As, as long as you have it in your inventory, it gives you regeneration too. So that allows me to uh, be here and simply, like, let's say you have 800. Bam! I put 200 in there and I regen pretty, pretty fast. There, there was also a uh, health something i think they're called health processor maybe health module that i could do but i don't know how they work so i just went for something that i knew which was the well i didn't know but i knew that when it says regeneration it's probably going to regenerate my life <laughs> so yeah so because of that i placed uh, speed 2 instead in the beacon and that way i can walk super quick like i'm flash or something more like kid flash okay <laughs> so, alright. So, in Blood Magic, what do we need to do now? Well, we needed to get, uh, if we go in Blood Magic, we needed to get some things to be able to do uh, that stuff here. We needed to be able to do the Etixian, Etaxium bricks, which are made from Etaxium, which are made from Anstone in the transmutation table, which we can't do. So, let's go here. And uh, we're gonna go to our crafting, and we're gonna go bam, 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 and bam. Transmutation table. Uh, let's put this one like over here. Why not? So I think you put. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you put at the bottom, but I think you put a bucket of something. So we'll take buck. Oh, this, that's the thing I think you put at the bottom. You put this there, and then, yeah, that, that's the thing. Then you can do, oh wait, you can put blaze. This thing is just better, but we've got infinite blaze, so we're gonna keep this and we're gonna put blaze rods. Uh, let's, let's see, I believe I can do this. Can we use that in there? Uh, wait, let's do this, let's do that. What could we use? We can use these. What is that? Methane? Uh. Okay, so blaze rods for us we're gonna be is gonna be to be the best choice. And then what we're gonna need to do is get some of the endstone. I believe I got some. There you go, 64 should be enough. So we're gonna place that there and then put that in here. And it's going to act like a furnace, pretty much. And it's going to give us the blocks that we need. Uh, these are then going to be transformed into bricks. This is going to be smelted. And then it's going to be used to make the bricks. Like so. Alright, pretty cool. Uh, I've also made a blank rune. You need dark stone. Which, well, you, you could use the dark stone like this. Just using stone... Uh, again into here or you can just go into your map and go into a place where you can get it It's also uh, pretty useful. I wish this thing could go a little bit faster, but uh, I presume it's not um, So yeah, there's also this thing here. We need to do, uh, do you, where, where did I put my blood orb? Orb There you go alchemy table perfect uh, we also need uh, one of these, I think. We need charcoal. Uh, charcoal? I don't have that. Is there a recipe for charcoal? 
Hum. Compressed sawdust. Coke oven. With the log. We'll give charcoal. We can do that. I still haven't upgraded my coke oven, which is something that we should do. But I've been using a lot less... Uh, oh, not the, the coke oven, I mean uh, the, the blast furnace. We haven't up updated it, but I've been using a lot less steel lately because it's not in magic areas. It's more into tech. So for the moment, it's not really that important. Uh, while it does that, let, let's put this thing over here. Uh, because we're going to need to use it pretty soon. Why is it... Like, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to use this to make more... What? Uh, I presume you lock things when you click on it. it seems to be the logical state of this. Alright. Wow. One. There you go. We got one. <laughs> that took forever just to get one little charcoal. And charcoal. There you go. Instant salter. Now the reason we're going to need it for this. So we're also going to need this. Uh, which you need plant oil. So it's three carrots. Bone meal. One, two, three. Bone meal. One. Uh into this it's going to give you the plant oil then the plant oil it's going to give you this which you need two so we'll need two plant oil uh so carrots one two three there we go let's go do this one oh wait we need the orb thank you all right so Wait, that doesn't look like... Okay. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Bam. And this. There you go. Plant oil. Perfect. Then we're going to need all of these things. Wait, does it need... Does it need... No, we can use the... The, the weak blood orb. Okay, so redstone, gunpowder, coal, sugar, and bottle of water. Things we can do. Okay, so just to make sure, two of these. Two of these. Uh, do I have coal? Yes, I do. And I need probably glowstone. It seems to be the logical next step. It is not, it's sugar. <laughs> Uh, sugar. There we go. And this is gonna give us what we need to make the other stuff. Wait, I'm missing something? Oh yeah, water bottle. These water bottle. Uh, I probably have bottle only. Yep. And we're gonna go fill these up. And uh, right here. Let's press the button. Wait, why is it not working? Um, it's everything. Does it need to have like a certain shape? Like this? Or do I not have enough? Aha! That was it. I didn't have enough blood. <laughs> I know my things. I know my things. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Alright, we'll be able to put that after. And probably need more blood. Well, even that regeneration is uh, really bad. Uh, wow, that wasn't enough. 
Or do I need to... Yeah, I just needed to remove this. Oopsie! Okay, so we're gonna need Rune of Mana, which is pretty easy to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Uh, let's just make sure. Yeah. There we go. We'll need uh, one of these. That on top. So I did have one that dropped, so that was good. It filled back up things. Okay, so is this thing done? Perfect. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea what an incense altar does. <laughs> I just, like, literally don't know. There we go. Let's put that in here. This thing almost done. Almost. Let's get this out. Uh, got that. We need spill thing. Hey, okay, wait. We need some string so we can get this here. Free string! That, that, that was a joke. From... Uh, uh, Let's try not to, to explain it. <laughs> it was a bad joke. <laughs> Alright. So, wait. I need, I need to put this in the mana pool. I'm gonna use this one because this one's like full. So. Uh, there we go. So now it should fill up all the other mana pools too. Let's do this. So, we can do this. And then this needs to go with the mana. Like this. So, I'm gonna have to do all of this. Oh, whoa. I, I made way too many. And we need a mana pearl, which I don't have on me. One, two, three, four. Thing like that. This. Bam. Then we're gonna need to do this. Oh, we need one more of these. And we should be good to... Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> I was not doing anything. There we go. We've got a botanical brewery. Brewery. So, yeah. I don't know how these things work, but we're going to be able to use it. So, that was the little uh, clip that I wanted to do uh, just before we actually get into what I wanted to do today. Uh... <laughs> Which is bees. Well, the, the part that is not bees and bees. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and that part is technological bees. So, Gendustry. If you didn't know, Gendustry is actually pretty amazing when you've got materials like this. Like diamonds and glass. Which we get. So, it's not an issue. We can use it. Same thing here. Tin and redstone. Tin, redstone. Pretty good to go. So we're good on, in there. Uh, there's a couple of things we're going to need. A genetic genetic replicator. So we're going to need... Uh, do I have any? 30. Oops. 30. Yeah, okay. We got six. So we should be good for now. Uh, we're going to need some things like that. So we're going to need bronze gears. So we need basic gears. I'm gonna need a lot of this. If there's one thing I know, is that you need a lot of gears. So, to get these gears, we just wait for this to pop. Look, I don't even have enough. Uh, okay, so... These... One, two... Do we need some for this? One... Do we need some for this? One... For this one, we need one also. For this, we need one. There you go. We're already out of gears. And it's not even the machines. It's just this thing here. So that means I need to make bronze. Wait, how about blocks? Now that I've reopened the thing, I don't have any more bronze, which is okay. Uh, we're gonna make some. I think bronze. <laughs> I never, I never remember how you make bronze. Uh, bronze until it actually makes me. 
Uh, I believe I can do it in the alloy smelter. It's tin and copper, which is two things I do have a lot. So let's do this. And let's go put that into alloyers. Alloy smelterers. Boom, boom, and boom, and boom. So this is going to give us a little bit of stuff. Uh, this. Let's do that. Give us some aluminum in our system. Because I was really running out. Uh, I believe it takes more copper, so I'm going to put more copper in there. Mm -hmm. That should be enough. I think it's a 3 for one though, so I might need like another stack to get a bunch more. Uh, but for the moment, it's going to be okay. Uh, let's grab this and that. And I think that might just be enough. Okay, so I was checking this one, uh, which is the Advanced Mutatron. Need a genetic sampler, so we need another one of these. Uh, let's put like that in there, and bam, five more. So we need genetic sampler, so it's going to be bam, that's seven. And genetic and printer, which is going to be eight. Whew, that thing is expensive. And then we need those things. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of crafting. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to make one of each, except the Industrial Apiary. We need also the Mutatron, uh, which that means we need more of these two. So yeah, I'm going to make one of each machine, and I'll bring you guys back. I'm also... Oh, we need Terra Steel for that. Oh, it's okay. It's an upgrade frame, which we don't use. We need these. Climate Control, we don't. Pollen Collect Kit, we don't. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make the machines, the compartments that we need, also the other things like this, uh, like that thing also, and I will bring you guys back. Alright, so I've prepared everything, uh, it's in my bags, uh, both of them, and now we pretty much just need to find a place where we can uh, do the bees. The normal thing you're gonna want to try to do, uh, it won't change when you have the advanced genetic things but now we kind of need to go to a forest area or a plain area to be more exact so i think i'm gonna take this teleport that i have here and this is perfect we need flowers so what do we have here flowers so <laughs> this is cool uh we're gonna take this here and we're pretty much gonna set up ourselves into like a chunk which this chunk seems perfect so, alright. Uh, great. So, le let's do things here. Wow, I don't know why I'm lagging like this. Eh, eh. Okay. Uh, let's open this bag first. It has the machines. There's two machines that I was not able to do that I would have loved to be able to do, which we're going to get to. Uh, if you don't know, this week is going to be B week. It's a B week. Uh, not in the sense to be weak, but in the sense to be weak. <laughs> I know it makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, Alright, we're going to put that here, because this is going to need to go in there. And then there's going to be the DNA extractor that goes on the other side, because it's also need to go there. Alright. Mm, we're going to go with these two, which don't really matter, so they can go here. Perfect. Uh, I've also got like these genetic labs because you need them at some places. Uh, I believe here. I believe we also need some in another place. Probably here. Yeah. Okay. And I've got one left. Uh, I also have in the other one some of these which go in here. Uh, but this you need a lot. Hello, cow. <laughs> I know it's not a cow. Okay. So what we're going to do is in my bag, the other bag, I've got forest bees, which we kind of want to uh, to transform. So, all right, let's do bam, bam. I'm going to need a chest, which I didn't bring. Uh, okay. 
So this is gonna go in there, this is gonna go in there. So it should work. I don't know if they're gonna attack me, so... Okay, they don't have any issue, so it's perfect. So they're gonna work, I'm gonna have to let them work, make a lot of drones. And then what you can do is take the drone, put it in here, which we need to power first. Uh, I think I'm gonna go under for this. Okay, uh, let's put this thing here, put that under, of course, run this thing along. Uh, these machines do take quite some power, so, ah, uh, seriously, why did it do that? Home, oh, let's set the home here, like home bees, set home bees. And home, home. Okay. Uh, we need to go in the back here and do this. And let's go back there. Ta da! Magic. And alright, let's put this in here. We're gonna do out, so it should start putting some power. And in here, we're gonna put the forest drone. So what it's going to do is going to look in the bee and it's going to try to extract one of its property. The, the ones we want from here is that we need to have them get flowers or none uh, for the adjustment. We need them to be working in this climate because it's the best that we can do and it's great if we can have them all in the same place. Uh, so that way if I would imprint an ender bee with uh, the the position of this with the temperature, the location, and the adjustment things, I could be able to uh, to put my ender bees that are currently in the end in this chunk here. So, all right, there you go, flowering slower. So, of course, it's going to take some time because these need to work. I could use, uh, I, I know Proven is one of them, this thing. So, frames. What I want to do is just make them, uh, like, not decay faster, but I want them to go faster. So, sweet frame, genetic mutation rate, super cold frame. I don't know what those are, to be honest. Soul frame, royal jelly. Of course, it needs royal jelly. Uh, genetic decay, production untreated frames. Maybe we should just go for something like this, which is simple to do uh, for the moment being. Uh, proven frames are only sold. Yeah, that's what I thought. The impregnated could be good. And I think they decay faster. So that means that they're, they're, this is going to go faster. So let me try to make some impregnated casing. Uh, here it is. Oh, I only have one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have more in here. Perfecto mundo. <laughs> okay, let's do this. We need three. Oh, and they don't stack. Yeah, that's one thing also. Bees, and let's do this. So this thing should be going down faster, which means we're gonna get more out of this thing faster. Uh, because if I remember, uh, one thing we need to do is bee analyzer, like uh, this thing, uh, which I haven't done. So let's chunk load this chunk and let's go back to the base and let's do the bee analyzer. Uh, the bee analyzer is going to be used to analyze the bees to know what their characteristic is. Uh, here, I think I have water. Nope. Um, this thing needs to be done in a carpenter. You're a carpenter. Yes, you are. So we need a water. Tin, ta, ta. Okay, I think I know what we need. We need help. <laughs> okay, so some glass panes. Bam. Just removing a little bit of things. Okay, uh, we're gonna need some redstone, and I completely forgot. I knew it was a diamond. Why did I ask myself? 
diamond and some tin. There we go. And of course, water, so we need buckets, which I don't have. Bucket! Perfect. Okay. There we go. Uh, bam. I don't know how much I need in there, but I'm gonna put that. Let's put these things in there. Bam, bam. Uh, oops. There. This here, and the diamond in the middle. Should make our thing. Then we're going to need honey drops to be able to use this. Keep getting text. <laughs> Sorry, come on. Work. It says 2000 mil bucket. Perfect. That's exactly what we have. Perfect. So, how do these things work? Well, you put your honey drops in there, and then you take a bee you have which are not here they're in my first house uh, bam no bam and let's say we want to look at uh, wintry bee so we're gonna take it we're gonna do this and we're gonna place it in there so currently now this thing is a life a lifespan short slowest product slower production slowest pollinization flower type snow so it needs snows but it makes four babies every time which we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of those and it also has an effect freezing which is probably gonna hurt me when i'm gonna try to do it but if we look at forest uh let's look at like let's say this one here so it's shorter slowest production slower pollinization. it needs flower it makes three babies it's average in territory. I don't know what really this is. I think it's the size of the pollinization. And there's no effect, so it's not going to hurt me. So these are pretty good to get the first one to go with, if that makes any sense. Uh, I will have to probably go and like check for these also, the same thing. See, this one needs cactus. Uh, and this one is ignoble, so it can die. Uh, like you can see, ignoble, ignoble, ignoble. I got one tropical bee. Oh, I didn't know. I, I had more of these. I made some. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Marchy again, as you can see. I don't have... Oh, I do have a pristine queen even. So let's check this one. So it needs mushrooms. It has no effect. And pretty much everything else is normal. So it's a pretty normal bee, but we're going to need it to make like commons and things like that so there's stuff that we need to start doing so what i need to do is pretty much set up everything uh make sure that everything is okay uh we're gonna go check we're gonna sleep because they don't work during the night if i remember correctly i'm gonna have to put some torches around i forgot that they need torch uh let's see do i have torches torch a nine uh I saw drones. No, they were princesses. Yeah, I've got an ender and two more forests, which are pristine. So you see the same thing as the other one. So I think I'm going to bring another one because, like I said, I need these to go faster because I want to uh, pretty much get their skills to implement on other bees. I surely want this thing, the three, and I want the effect to be implemented on other bees. So, all right, I'm going to let them, you know, get more. Uh, I'm probably also going to put some other bees, or maybe not because I don't have, like, the flower type and these things to put onto them. Uh, so I'm going to try to get the things, the bee sample from the forest, and I'm going to bring you guys back after. All right, guys, so I'm here. Uh, I've got these like running, but I've pretty much got what I needed from it. So it is pretty good. It's going to need to make some more drones because we're going to need the drones to do some things. And also, guys, I know it's long, but bees are long. That's why it's probably going to take the week to just pretty much make bees. Uh, 
So in my bag here, I had uh, some of this. Uh, I've already recorded this, but I had an issue. So uh, if we look in here, I've also got more genetic sample. But how you do this is you take one of these, which the recipe is like that, place it in your in your crafting and you place it there. So right now I've got flowers, flowers, effect none, and fertility three. So what I can do is here and go to the genetic imprinter and place my B and it should imprint it. Sometimes it will fail. So you do need to do this. Like my Valiant B is the only one I have. Well, I can get more, like a lot more easily, uh, but it's the only one I have. So if it fails, well, I'm going to have to go get more. So there you go. So if we look at the two here, so, oh, I also got the Ender B uh, over here. So this is the normal type motor speed, short, slower, slowest, cacti, two, average, none. Okay. And if we look at the new one, it is now flowers, three, average and none. So that means that this one is way better. So of course I will have to do the same thing for the drones so that when we place them together they will work. The reason I need modest is because to make common you need some sort of something with another basic one. It can be modest with something else. Uh, there is two machines I don't have here. Uh, well actually here I could do it. Uh, you can duplicate bees but you need to have a full genetic template needs to be 100% filled. So that's kind of why I'm going for something like this. Uh, and I'm trying to get like a lot of uh, children bees. So let's place these two in there. So this thing should work. It might, oh, it needs the temperature. So you see temperature is something I didn't check. So if we look here, humidity tolerance, none, Tolerance, temperature tolerance. So let's try to put these onto there and add it to the B. We're gonna go like this, uh, like that, and then we're gonna put it back here with the modest. So since I'm not changing everything in there, there will be the possibility that they're gonna be able to keep cave dwelling and tolerant rain, and things like that all these things are still possible which means that when i'm going to get the babies i can then put them in the machine and get something out of it again all right so this time it's still temperature hot and arid huh i'm not a fan of that uh yeah i don't really have anything it's, it would be the tolerance that I would need to modify. So that means that I'm pretty sure I need to put those into spawn. Home, home. Around like here. Uh, do I have more? I'm really running out of conduits for items. Oh no, I've got them here. I locked in the wrong bag again. <laughs> Let's put these like here. Place that there. If you didn't know, you want to just like put your bees and have them uh, make babies. Uh, and of course, home bees. Placed everything in my chest over here. Uh, we'll need an apiary. The trick is to just have one conduit. If you're not looking for anything else, just have one conduit. It's enough. And you're going to place this on top. And just place this one on extract and instead and you can self feed and just active without signal and then you can put your bees in there of course i don't have any flowers over here so it's going to ask me to put some flowers i think with one flower you're good to go so eh, lag and i'll take like a couple of that and some dirt and there we go so then we'll be able to place those over there. Uh, eventually, if we're able to get some that have tolerance, like probably this one should have tolerance. Uh, except I think I changed it because 
And then, and then you can see in there, there's two tolerance, both one. So yeah, this one might be able to, I'm not 100% certain. So let's place this here. Let's put a flower on top. Is it going to work? There you go, it's working now. So yeah. So we're going to get this thing, just we'll leave it here. It's going to work and it's going to do its thing. It's chunk loaded. So now let's do the same thing for this one. But this one, as you can see again, it says cold and up. So sadly, it's going to do the same thing. So instead of doing the ender, let's do this thing. Oh, and by the way, I've been using uh, this machine to get some DNA into here. Uh, it uses so much RF. My batteries all went down. My, I couldn't access my AE system while it was working. So just be aware that the machines do take a lot of power, which is something we should check soon. All right, let's put this one in there. So normally these uh, don't have like any humidity thing. So it should be cool, cool to have. And they're pretty much just used to get Eric bees, which make cocoa. So it's probably not even useful for me to have it. To get sugar. Yeah, it's not actually useful for me to have a Valiant. So I don't even know why I changed it. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, that means I'm going to have to put the, you know, flower in the end. But it's also going to give me three kids, which I'm going to be able to put in here and get the temperature resistance one. And also uh, nocturnals, so they're going to work during the night. Because at the moment, these don't. Wow. That was uh, 263 generation in captivity. That is a lot. All right, so let's go home end and let's place it back uh, i will get attacked but it's okay uh, i'm i'm you know i know i'm gonna get attacked uh, they're over there i thought it was closer okay now it's gonna do the stupid stuff they're really dangerous there we go so now it should work can't work. Too hot. It's too hot. You're in the end! How is it too hot? Okay, these two are annoying. Stop. <laughs> it's too hot. The bees are melting in the eat here. Um... I think it's because I'm an idiot. I... I did something wrong. I shouldn't have changed the temperature. Because of that, it's not working. So now they're gonna have to go. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I do have one of these with one of these. Home, home. Check what I need to do. I need to put it so cold. Um, I need to go outside. We're gonna put it like in a snow biome. <laughs> Oops. Uh, snow biome. Did I see any? There's ice, there's snow. So again, let's do this save. 714 teleport. Here's a river. Cold beach. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't think this thing was that tall. <laughs> Alright. Could do it here, but it's too dark. There was a winter bee over there. Alright, we're gonna put that uh, right here. So this there, Apiary. Uh, am I on the border? No, I'm in the middle of a chunk. It's good, but I'm lagging like hell here. Okay, are you gonna work uh, this one? Too cold! <laughs> okay, this one here is icy. Alright guys, well, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm gonna have to find where this bee can go. Actually, I don't really need that bee. Well, I need it to make babies to use to get like Phantasmal, Spectral, Draconic if I want to. Uh, but at the moment, I don't really need it for anything. It's not the one that is important to get. Uh, but I'm gonna try to find where they go. So, alright guys, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.